It's early, and ladies and gentlemen, we just have ourselves an NHL trade right here. Carl Hagland is going to Washington. This makes sense. First off, the Washington Capitals sent down Devontae smith Pelly onto waivers. That makes sense. His replacement in the roster was Carl Hagland. The trade goes as follows. Hagland to Washington from the LA Kings in exchange for a third round pick in 2019 and a conditional sixth in 2020. So basically, Hagelin was traded for two draft picks. This is fine. This is a win-win for both teams. Here's why. On the LA Kings point of view, Hagelin was an expiring free agent, and they didn't really have a place for him in the future. The Kings suck, let's face it. They don't have all of the opportunities in the world to succeed, and having a player like Hagelin on an expiring deal, sending him over to a cup contender to help them out in a playoff run once again, it's good for them that they got draft picks back because that's what they need, that's what they want, that's what they value at this point in time. Meanwhile, for the Washington Capitals, they didn't give up any roster players nor prospects for this short rental. Now, I'll also add that the Kings retained 50% of Hagelin's $4 million cap hit, so the Capitals are only going to be paying Hagelin $2 million, or at least in theory, that's how it works. It doesn't actually work like that because we're this far into the season, but Hagelin's cap hit for the Caps is $2 million, 50% retained, and it's fine, because he's expiring at the end of the year anyway. It's really nothing to lose here for the Washington Capitals as well as the LA Kings. They gain what they need, the Capitals get another fast, speedy, scoring winger, well, scoring, you could debate that, but a fast, speedy winger to help them out in the playoffs once again, and all he costed was a few draft picks. Now, it's actually kind of funny, if you take a look at what my buddy Max over here talks about, Carl Hagelin's value in 2016 was David Perron and Adam Clendenning. Earlier this year, it was Tanner Pearson, and now, it's a few draft picks. But hey, it's fine, he's a rental. He's not supposed to be a guy who's worth all too much, but he is a guy who could help out the Capitals in their depth-needing positions going into the playoffs this year. Hagelin is not necessarily as much of a beast as he was with the New York Rangers, but he's still been particularly okay. Especially with the LA Kings, you know, you can't really have somebody playing over there doing extraordinarily well. They've been selling their guys off, Jake Muzzin, Carl Hagelin, getting some young assets back, and they're really building towards the future, which is kind of scary because they were just at the top of the mountain just a few years ago. It's funny how hockey works, but overall, Heglin is a capital, he'll be helping them out in the playoffs, the Capitals gave up a few draft picks, and the Kings walk away happy, the Caps walk away happy, they didn't take away any roster players from the Capitals, which is so important, and overall, I think it's a win-win for both sides. Hope you guys enjoyed, this was your plus, and that's your slash nine gaming. Sorry for the Montreal gameplay, this is a long gameplay, and I really wanted to cut it down, and... Bye.